Folks, what a warm up across the valley today after spending yesterday. The western two thirds of the valley yesterday stayed in the 60s. Brownsville got a little warmer, but look at this. Everybody's in the 80s now. 80 in Port Isabel, 81 in Brownsville, all the way up to 90 in Rio Grande City at this hour. A very warm afternoon. Look at our lows tonight. We expect readings to fall off to about 70 or so. That's about it. 69 in Raymondville. And then tomorrow, right back up into the upper 80s and low 90s across the area. That will be the warmest day of the week with a little bit of a cool down coming on Thursday, but not a dramatic cool down. Look at the highs tomorrow. We're looking at 89. The average for this time of year is 77, 89, 79 with the front on Thursday and then 77 right on normal on Friday. Satellite radar together today, not showing much patchy clouds. We had a lot of cloud cover this morning, but that burned off pretty quickly this afternoon. We ended up with sunshine and a beautiful afternoon. A few clouds build in overnight, but during the daytime tomorrow, we're back to mostly sunny skies again. That's what will help warm those readings up to 90 plus across a lot of the area. We go on forward into Thursday. Here comes the front. Notice a couple of green dots on there. There could be a sprinkle or two with the front, but there's not a lot of moisture to work with, so we don't expect anything big at all. So we're not even putting a chance in the forecast. We'll have to go with perhaps a sprinkle, but most areas stay dry. Your rain chances are nothing. We go dry, dry, dry. We could put the word mainly on Thursday just because of that sprinkle possibility, but it's not even enough to notice that it happened in most areas. Probably a quick passing sprinkle and that's about it. Rest of Texas tonight warming up. Austin's up to 81, 74 all the way up to Abilene, 73 in Odessa. Their little bout with winter is behind them as the warm air builds back to the north. Rain kind of moving out of the state in the northeast and moving back into the state in the southwest as our next front makes its way in this direction. Warm front moves out and right as that happens, cold front moves in. This front, not very strong, comes into the valley Thursday, triggers that brief sprinkle and nothing more than that. Secondary surge of cooler air sitting to the north and really all that's happening is the high pressure area just off the edge of the map up there just strengthens a little bit, kind of flexes its muscles and that pushes air just a little bit cooler into the area for Friday. By Saturday though that high moves eastward, the wind comes back off the Gulf, that brings some moisture and it gives us a slight chance for a shower by the time we get to Saturday. Slight chance. Check the rest of the country. It's 83 in Tampa, 77 in Miami, up in the Northeast, New York City, Central Park's 49. Same thing in Boston. We move off to the upper Midwest. Green Bay is 50 right now. Duluth, this isn't bad for the end of February. Temperatures above freezing throughout the region. You finally go into the Southwest. Temperatures cool even in Los Angeles, 53, 43 at the Grand Canyon. That's El Paso in Texas at 65. So for us for tonight, partly cloudy. Some fog shows up late after the wind dies down. Winds go down to about 10 to 20. Then tomorrow morning clouds, maybe patchy fog, a high of 89. It really warms up tomorrow. Not as warm Thursday, courtesy of the front. A couple degrees cooler on Friday. Saturday we start to rebound. We'll get up a couple of showers. Sunday, kind of like today. Some fog early, then some sun. And then Tuesday, a spotty shower once again. That is your updated First Point 5 forecast.